It has been over a year since the last Ditterman mode, but we are back in business and we are rushing PKing as always. The goal is to get DT done in under 6 hours, and to be maxed out PKing with a bunch of loot in under 24 hours. So let's get into it. So this DMM is completely different to all the other DMMs, and I wish I could go through all the changes, but honestly there's so many. But right in the background you could see at the start I had to choose between three starting sigils. A mage one, a range one, or a melee one. All these do is help out your combat style and give you very much increased XP rates in them. So I decided to go for the mage one as I'm going to be alking while I quest, and I'm also going to be bursting later on. Uh, I'm not locked to any of these sigils though, so when I want to do other stuff, they're all tradable on the GE and they're on a global drop table, so hopefully there's a lot of them in the game, so you will see me with a bunch of sigils. Um, in the background right now, I'm just getting ready to do the quest with my group of friends, and the first quest we wanted to do was Tourist Trap. Um, another thing that's different about this DMM is there's actually Combat Bracket Worlds, and as soon as you enter a new Combat Bracket World, you have an Hour of Immunity. So I went into the new Combat Bracket World, had an Hour of Immunity, and used that to do Tourist Trap in the first hour of the game. We're going to use this all on thieving, which should get us to 49 thieving, which is almost the requirement for 53 thieving for DT. Very nice. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Tourist trap done. Okay, that is 46 prayer. We're good on prayer now. We can go continue on with everything else. Okay, and that should be X marks the spot done. Don't need any reason for... Actually, I'd love to come, but I'm going to use this antique lamp on what's it called? I'm going to use it on Herblore, which will get me my 10 Herblore, which means I don't have to go buy herbs or anything later. Um, rub it in the tea clamp, Herblore, life's good. That should get us to 10 Herblore, if I'm not mistaken. 17 Herblore, even better, nice. Um, now we're just going to go finish off our 53 thieving at the fruit stalls. Not exactly sure where they went. Uh, they'll be somewhere there. We'll be fine. <laughs> 53 thieving completed. Let's just get our leather gloves and leather boots for dig site later. Let's see if we can go buy some prayer pots and shit now. Okay, this should get me 25 agility here, which means I can go start the Grand Tree. Very, very nice, which will get us more levels and unlock the MM1 tunnels for us. I'm not going to do MM1, we just want to unlock the tunnels. So let's go start that real quick. Okay, and that is the Grand Tree done, which should get me to 53 mage, which is very nice. 60 attack as well, Jesus Christ. Very, very nice. And uh, 48 agility as well, not bad. Yeah, fuck it, if you want to. Just ran me 500 nats so that I have no food. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Alright, that's dig site done. Bro, this guy training at the fucking archers had that range relic that can just take all my run energy, bro. He can legit make me his bitch whenever he wants. Fucking panicking. Okay, and this should be death plus two completed, which means we can go start troll stronghold in a second, which will be very, very nice. 3k attack XP as well, so 61. Okay, and that is Troll Stronghold completed. Let's go check our quest that we still need to do for Desert Treasure, Temple of Ikov, and Waterfall quest. We're gonna go get started on Temple of Ikov. Okay, and that is Temple of Ikov completed, which should get us a very nice amount of range levels, I think. 100k XP, yep. All the way from 41 to 56 range. Don't mind if I do. Last thing we need to do before Desert Treasure is the Waterfall quest. Let's get started. Okay, and this should be Waterfall quest completed, which is gonna give us some more insane stats. 66 attack. 57 strength, and we're now ready to do Desert Treasure. I don't even think the items in the game are there yet, so I'm going to go get 50 Fire Making and 10 Slayer first. Okay, and that should be 27 Slayer and 27 Hunter. Now we just need to get the, what's it called, the Fire Making requirement. Very, very nice. Okay, and that is 50 Fire Making. Let's go. Now we're ready to do Desert Treasure, which we need to go get some stuff for first. Okay, and that is DT started. Okay, it's time to do the first boss, which is Farid, the bro. I think he can only hit me 20s with um, his mage spell. So as long as I'm not under 20 HP, I should be fine. 71 mage as well. Oh, that's what we like to see, bro. I love it when that little uh, effect comes in. It just starts healing me. That's so nice. All right, that should be the first diamond done. Nice. I need my emblem to fucking heal me. This is gonna be hard. Okay, this should give us some chocolate cakes at least, I hope. I've never done it this low defense and shit before, so yeah, fair enough, but we got him. GG's. GG's, let's carry on. Okay, and this should be our second diamond completed. Nice. Huh! 
I don't know if that was a Venny or what, but I want no part of it. I just had Tango and got the fuck out of there. Alright, it is time to do Desus. Alright, and that is Desus done. Now let's go back and get that diamond. Finally, bro, we got it. The Gilded Cross. 73 magic, the Bodhi number. I love this relic, man, and the fact that quests give mage XP. Never been this high mage before doing DT, so that's pretty nice. Alright, final diamond done. Let's go cash this in and finish DT. Very nice. Dude, look at my dude, look at Chode. He's running around a war against javelins, rude med helm, and black dehyde, bro. Holy fuck. Okay, and we actually didn't get pulled out of this thing once, which is very surprising. Usually I get kicked out a couple times, but DT done. My boy is Andra. Let's go. 200k mage XP as well, putting me up to 76, almost 77 magic. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh my god, you're trolling. I ran out of runes, dude. I think I can run back in, though. I'm pretty sure. Yo, there's, yo, the guy's still outside, Chud. Okay, I got a box. I got a box. I got a box. Now come down and fucking hit him, please, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm right downstairs. I'm just gonna go up right away, like, once you hit him, and then you come up with me. Okay. Uh, I wasn't fighting him, bro, uh, Chode, I was running. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Alright, Mage Cape done, and we have the Zamorak Staff. I actually am gonna Alk that in a second, just so, um, I get some more cash out of it. Oh my, look at the Relic go, bro. The creepy Relic. Oh my god, dude, look at the XP drops. What is going on, boy? You guys are idiots. 576 blood roots? What? What is going on? Okay, and this should be 71 combat, which means I get another hour of immunity. It means I can get more sigils. And it means I have to go into the next combat bracket world. I can't hit anything anymore. So let's hop into the next world. Um, Bro, I just got a drop. I just got the sigil of slaughter. I don't know what that does or what it is, but I just got one. Okay, I have absolutely no idea what the sigil does yet. I'm gonna Google it right now. The Sigil of Slaughter is a tier 2 utility sigil in Dead Man Reborn. Like all sigils, the unattuned version is dropped by most monsters. These are the most monsters. Um, wow, it's a Slayer sigil. I got overhyped for nothing. It just has a chance at making a Slayer task kill not count towards the task. 90 magic, damn. Yo, I just got another drop. I got the Sigil of the Menacing Mage, but I've already got that, so I guess I'll sell it. All right, we are officially, I'm going to say, eight hours in, and we're 92 mage. Just ran out of runes again. The drops are actually incredible from this. I just got a rune plate body and 149 karams. I got the sigil of the menacing mage. I got the sigil of slaughter all in one inventory. Uh, no tier fives. I don't know if they drop because I honestly don't know all the changes that's happened to DMM. But I'm going to go buy some more runes real quick so that I can finish up this 94 mage. I just got the sigil of nature too. Jesus, I don't know what that is either. Once again, I just got hyped up for this sigil, googled it, and it allows me to choose my own farming contract. And I just got a sigil of aggression. What the hell is that? I will tell you in a second. Sigil of aggression. It is... Oh, I just googled that and it took me onto the RuneScape 3 wiki. Oh, it's a tier 3 sigil. Um, all attacks deal 20% damage, but you take 30% more damage from all sources. Damn. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is 94 Mage. We are 9 hours, 20 minutes into the Deadman Tournament. Less than 10 hours into the tournament. We have two sigils at our inventory, and we've just gotten ourselves 94 Mage. To be honest, usually I make my day one videos after like 20 hours of progress or so, but this DMM has just gone so quick, and I've gone to 94 Mage in under 10 hours. I want to get one of the first videos out for you guys. So I'm just going to leave it here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you had, please smash that like button and subscribe if you are new. Or if you're not and you've just watched my videos anyway, I'm going to be uploading daily DMM content and my first PKing video will come out within the next 24 hours. So make sure you subscribe for that. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys later.